Right, hi everybody, welcome to another video. So the video today is about using one of these uh, uh, chemical head gasket uh, leak detector um, kits to test, to definitively test uh, and confirm a head gasket uh, leak on this car. Now this car happens to be a uh, 2003 Audi A4 1.9 TDI diesel, but that doesn't really matter too much because you know what we're gonna talk about in this video could apply to any car and that would be, that would include petrols as well. Okay, so I've just moved inside the car for a minute because there's quite a bit of a uh, wind and traffic noise out there uh, today. So I've just moved inside the car for a minute just to improve the audio a little bit, basically, for you guys. So, um, by the way, the, the mileage on this car, in case um, anybody's wondering, is a uh, is 192,000 miles. So I've I've already done the test, and I, I am going to redo it for you guys. Uh, but before I redo, I'm just going to talk about you know what I've already done and, and the results because uh, you know some of you might not want to watch the, you know the, the the whole test me, me redoing the whole test. So uh, b basically, qu quite quite a uh, you know s s simple little kit, uh, and it, and it was cheap as well. Only uh, nine pounds I paid for this off of eBay. So it, it, it comes with this bit and then you, and it comes with the, um, the fluid and you fill kind of like this, this portion up with the fluid, uh, rubber bung, rubber bung sort of goes into the bottom and that obviously sits on the, on either the radiator or the, or the coolant, uh, you know, coolant cap sort of, um, uh, outlet. And, uh, then you run, run the engine now in the, in the instructions, it says to start the to do the test when the engine is already warm. Now I'm guessing by warm they do mean warm, like not hot, because if it was hot that could be dangerous. Now the, it, it says to, to start the in the instructions it says to start the test with the engine warm and to run it for about two minutes. What I did is I I actually did the test from cold and I did it for about four minutes. So I am gonna like I say I, I am gonna redo that uh, to show you guys in, in a minute, but. Uh, before I go on to that, I'll, I'll just show you the results because I took pictures of the results um, I got. So here is the um, what what the what happened with the fluid. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's turned green, and that is a positive indication that you do have a head gasket leak. Basically, if if it turns green like that, it says in the instructions if it's a petrol, it will turn yellow. If it's a diesel, it'll turn green. And as, as you can see, unfortunately, on this car, it's definitely turned green. Now, just to act as a control, just to, because I've never used this test before, that was the first time I used it, just to make sure I wasn't getting like a, a false positive, uh, I, I actually did, I redid the test on my Renault Megane, uh, which I know is, is good. And uh, I did it in exactly the same way. I, 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 um, I started up from cold uh ran it for about three four minutes oh and by the way you uh you have to run it for about three four you have to run it with it revving up a little bit up to about two three thousand revs so not not just at idle so i did the test in exactly the same way and here is the um uh the the f a photo of the results i got with a megan as you can see is the the fluid is still definitely blue it's it's obviously it obviously looks a lighter color compared to what's in the bottle because there's less of it but it, you can see it's definitely blue so that that shows that you know it's not giving up false positive it did give correctly give a negative test on my megan so so anyway just just thought, just thought i'll uh i'd i'd go through that initially with, with you guys just because what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to run the test in a minute but uh like i said it's, I'm, I'm going to run it in the same way so it's going to take about three four minutes so just in case some of you didn't want to sit through that i just thought i'd show you those results first by the way, another indication that the combustion gases are getting into the into the cooling system and into this um, this reservoir is the fact that you've got this like black staining at at the top of the uh, expansion tank. That's basically not on the outside. That's on the inside. Uh, and as you can see, it, it starts there basically above above the level of actually where the coolant would sit because the coolant obviously washes it off. And that's actually black staining from. Uh, from the, from the from basically the diesel fumes, uh, the combustion gases getting into the um, getting into the uh, in, into here. Basically, I, I'm guessing you wouldn't get that on a petrol one, but on on a, on a diesel engine, uh, just the fact that you've got that black staining. And in fact, if I open this, uh, 
and run my uh, run my finger like that. Actually, as you can see, it's going black. So um, that, that that's that's another another indicator, basically, without even doing that test. And just to continue the comparison with with, with my Megan, which which uh, is a is a diesel again, as you can see, DCI diesel. Uh, but as you can see, the top of the uh, expansion tank is all nice and clean. Okay, so now I'm going to redo the test for you guys. So, uh, like I said, this uh, rubber bun goes in on like that. Then this fits into here like that. And then fill up some of the fluid. up to there now I'm gonna go and uh, start the engine and for a, and just and just for first of all for about a minute I'll just let it idle and then uh, for, for about another two three minutes I'll uh, I'll let it I'll, I'll run it at sort of about two three thousand rpms um, you you'll, you'll see some uh, bubbles bub bubbling through I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna fast forward I'm, ju I'm just gonna let it play in real time because you know um, I'm, I'm guessing some of you will, will be interested to see how it plays out in real time obviously if, if, if you're not just just for a fast fast forward it so uh, yeah I'm gonna go and go into the car and do that now I'm just letting it idle for a, for a minute here at the moment. Sorry about the sort of shaking, I've got the camera kind of half resting on the engine.
Right, so as you can see, that has definitely turned green. So once again, <laughs> unfortunately for this car, positive confirmation that definitely there's carbon dioxide basically getting in into the cooling system which can only be coming from the uh, combustion chambers so that's that's definitely a positive confirmation that that head gasket is leaking um, by the way that time when i did it it actually took a bit longer to, to turn green than when i'd done it previously and i think the difference is when i did it previously i, I had the coolant level topped up whereas like this time i, I didn't and the coolant level was quite low uh so so basically yeah when, when you if you're doing it i would like a re i would suggest to top the coolant level up to the correct level because i suppose then there's less air here for for the uh for the combustion gases to, to get diluted by so you know you know you, you're going to get your indication quicker right guys so i just want to ex expand a little bit on, on my thoughts on uh on what exactly this test is and isn't telling us um, now I've done a, a little diagram to help here. So this this represents like a, the, the the top view of, of of the cylinder head. So the uh, sorry cylinder sorry the cylinder the cylinder block I should say on obviously the cylinder head would go on top, and the you know the gasket would sit in between. So the these are the uh, combustion chambers uh, in the kind of like indicated in the orangey kind of um, yellow bread and then in in blue the coolant passages and then in in brown the the oil passages that, that you know run through through the through the cylinder head uh sorry through the cylinder block so i keep getting that wrong then through the cylinder block through the head gasket and then up up into the cylinder head right so now uh, I, I just want to say I, I'm, I'm not an expert on the, on this stuff, so I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not pretending to be, uh, or you know, just bear that in mind, <laughs> you know. But but I, I think I've got a pretty good understanding. So th this is my understanding. So now, like I touched on earlier, if that if that test sort of tests positive, like like it just did for us on that Audi, uh, what that means is that uh, basically that, that that test tests for co2 uh, so that that means that, that and that's called carbon dioxide now that carbon dioxide in an engine as far as I, I understand can only be coming from the combustion process and if it's ending up in the in the coolant uh, my understanding is that the, that that can only mean that uh, it's the, basically uh, this is happening so basically the this combustion gases are getting through the ga cylinder head gasket and into the coolant passages you know that that that's the you know i do not know of any other way uh, uh carbon dioxide can end up in the you know in, in the coolant so so that's why i said earlier i think if if um uh if if that if that test pr test positive then you've got that you've definitely got a, a blown head gasket um no doubt about it. And when I say blown head gasket, I'm using that in, in the loose sense of the word. It, uh, it, you know, it, it could be a it, it could, and or be like a, a, a cracked cylinder block, crack, cracked cylinder head, whatever. I'm, I'm using that in the loose sense of the word, but generally it's, you know, a, a blown head gasket. But now let's say that test, uh, test negative for you. Does it mean that your head gasket is fine? No, I, I, I don't think it does. Be, or, well, I'm, I'm sure it doesn't, in fact. Uh, because uh, obviously, uh, let's say for example, your your head gasket is blown sort of in between the cylinders like that. So that's still a blown head gasket, but then that that's that that's not going to cause CO2 to get into your coolant passages. So you know you're not you're, it's not going to give a, a, a positive test. Uh, or let's say your your head gasket is blown into one of the the oil passages like that. It, again, that that's a blown head gasket. But you know it's not getting into the coolant, uh, so you know you, it's not going to give the, the CO2 in, in, in that in, in the coolant for that test to prove positive, and uh, and I think you can sometimes even get sort of like head gaskets blowing like that externally, um, etc. I, I, I think there's various ways it, it, it can it can fail, but I think I think the 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 the, the failure. I think the the coolant passages are biggest in an engine. And they're closest to the cylinders, 
So uh, water getting into the coolant passages is, is, a, is a very common way for a head gasket to fail, but my understanding is certainly not the only way to, for it to fail. Uh, so yeah, so ju just just wanted to make that clear. Um, and the just the 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 other the other thing I wanted to touch on is um, you know the the classic uh, test of like you know, you know when people take off the um, uh, the oil filler cap to check underneath for mayonnaise. I mean that 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 can indicate a blown gasket head gasket. I'm, I'm guessing that's more likely to happen when you got this sort of blown like this when you know it's blown into one of the oil passages. I'm guessing. But interestingly, for example, on this car, I'll, I'll just show you a picture of the of the of the of the um, oil cap here, and as you can see, uh, you know it's, it's completely clean. And, uh, and here's a, here's a picture of the dipstick again, completely clean. So you know that the, those are a couple of other interesting points to uh, to bear in mind, I think. Alright guys, uh, so I, I, I was probably babbling on a little bit in, in the previous uh, clip, so um, uh, so sorry about that. But essentially, what, I'm, what I was trying to say is, um, if, if that test, my understanding is, if that if that test um, shows positive, then you've definitely got a blown head gasket. Uh, but if it shows negative, it doesn't mean that your head gasket is okay. So that that's basically what I was trying to say. So I, I just to, just to clarify that. So just finally, just wanted to show you show you this. Now, if if you just want to make sure that your um, that your fluid is good as in like it's working, uh, you can do this. Look. As you can see, it's turned. Uh, Sort of like greeny yellow and that that's from the co2 from your breath basically and interestingly uh if, if you use like something like i don't know like a turkey base or something to kind of like just pump like normal air through there again uh it would turn back blue i, I, I tried that uh, previously just out of curiosity so but having said that it, uh, you know, it does say in the instructions not to recycle the fluids only use it once uh, anyway, all right, guys, th th that's it. So ho ho hope the video helps. Uh, so sorry about you know the bits where I probably babbled on a little bit, but uh, just wanted to you know put, put in as much information as I thought you know might be helpful uh, as I could basically. So anyway, I hope you did find it useful. Uh, if, if if you're new to the channel, uh, if if you can support it by by you know subscribing, that'd be great. And uh, and uh, thank you for all all, all the uh, all my previous subscribers. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully I'll, I will catch you guys on another video soon. Bye-bye.